Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all to do the schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon, Monday, the 26th of December, the day after the day after Christmas. Uh, I guess it's called Boxing Day uh, on the other side of the pond. Um, Right now in Jacksonville, Florida, it is 8 degrees centigrade Celsius. Centigrade, 8 degrees Celsius. 47 degrees Fahrenheit. So, uh, I'm going to head off. I got to go to the store to get my medications. I was supposed to go Saturday and totally forgot. So we'll go do it now. I got all kinds of gunk on my windshield. Oh, I may have to take to start putting a cover on my windshield. It looks like Squirrel duty. Ugh. Anyhow. Uh, my sleep schedule's been crazy for a while. But I just made it a little bit crazier because Saturday, Christmas Eve day, the uh, day before Christmas or whatever, um, we had a, a family get-together brunch at my oldest daughter's house. So that meant I had to be up at like 9.30-ish so I could be over there before 11. And uh, so, yeah, that, that kind, of, kind of screwed up my schedule a little bit more. I came home, I took like an hour, an hour and a half nap. Got up and went to my son's house. And then yesterday, Christmas Day, of course, I didn't have anywhere to go because we'd already done all that. And I got like 14 hours worth of sleep. <laughs> uh, I was like, you know, tired. I was, I was nodding off while I was watching YouTube and whatnot. So I shut everything down. And went to bed, and it was 3 o'clock-ish, something like that. And uh, 3.30. Anyway, uh, well, no, maybe it's more like 12 hours. So, anyhow, um, I slept until, like, 3.30, it was almost 4 when I got up. Like I got up like 1 o'clock or something and looked at the clock and said, nah, I ain't got to be up yet. I got another hour or so. I was thinking, you know, I'd, I'd still be getting like almost 10 hours of sleep. So, and then, like I said, I woke up. It was almost 4 o'clock or close enough to that it doesn't matter. So, I want to change my sleep schedule. I want to be up more, you know, like the daylight hours and whatnot. So, you know, that's what I've been striving for. And I went to bed five o'clock, a little bit after. Um, and I was up to like 8.30ish. So, uh, not happy about that. I felt like I was wide awake. So I got up, I had something to eat. Excuse me. And uh, after after a little bit, I don't know, 10 o'clock or so, I thought, all right, I'm going to try to go back to sleep for a couple of hours. And, uh, you know, I've done that in the past. I've had like you know, four hours sleep, be up two or three, get four hours sleep. 
be up for seven, get a couple hours of sleep. So I was thinking that that's what I was going to do, but yeah, it didn't work out. I laid back down again, just tossed and turned, tossed and turned. So I ended up getting up, went and made myself coffee and uh, banana, or not banana, some peanut butter toast and took my medicines and blah, 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 blah. Because I knew I had to get out and go to the store, which is why one of the reasons I had I had my alarm set for two o'clock to get up. So, uh, but I was up way before I needed to be. Just couldn't sleep. And now I'm out here. I'll get to, I'll get my running around done and uh, head back home again. I'm not going to fight it if I need to go to sleep like at 10 o'clock or, or whatever and just see what see what happens. Uh, one way or another I'm going to I'm going to change the sleep schedule. Maybe being up at this time of the day will help. I don't know. Maybe getting out and running errands will help. I don't know. But it feels good to be out. It feels good to be out in the daylight. <laughs> I haven't seen, really seen daylight a whole lot until this past weekend. Because, you know, like the, sun, the, the sun's setting at, at 5 o'clock. It's already dark out. So if I'm getting up at, at 3, by the time I'm done doing everything I need to do to get out of the house, it's 4.30 at about 5 o'clock. So, normally on a Monday, I'd be headed to my youngest daughter's house for dinner, but they're uh, coming home from Tennessee. They went up there to be with um, my son-in-law's family. Had a real nice place up on a on the side of a mountain overlooking a, a creek, I think, river. But uh, anyhow, so I hope everybody had a decent holiday. Christmas or what have you. Even if I know many many of you are probably home alone. Oh man, they put up some buildings over there. Woo dog. Man, that sucks. All those woods over there. It used to be really nice to go over there riding on bicycles. I mean, we're going <laughs> ten or fifteen years ago. But it's been pretty well blocked off. But now it's all bulldozed over and buildings are on it. But yeah. So. Uh, anyhow. Ooh. I think we're going to go ahead and cut out it for the, for the moment. I'm going to run in here in the Dollar Tree, uh, see what they got, see if they have what I'm looking for, I'm not sure that they do, and then I need to run to Walmart, like I said, get my, my medication and whatnot, so I'll pick this, pick this tail up when I get done doing all that. So in the meantime, we'll be back. Right, this guy sees me trying to back out. He wants to go drop off his buggy. 
Anyway, I wasn't expecting them to be at a lunch. I forgot about that. So, now where was I? <laughs> uh, yeah, I forgot about them going to lunch, so I had to wait like a half hour walking around the store waiting to go across the street the line of traffic coming by I waited a little bit and I went to go around her the car stopped waved her to come across she walked right out in front of me luckily I was hard on the brake quick on the brake Anyhow. oh man Now, what am I going to do? What am I doing? What is that? <laughs> Parking lot treasure. Man, this place is busy. Probably isn't worth me coming over here. Oh. It's a little tube. Grapefruit diesel. All right, I guess it's got something to do with a vape. We'll check it out further later. Ugh. Figure out how to get my seatbelt back on. So I had intended to go to Harbor Freight pick up some stuff well just one item actually I need some string or twine or yarn so I looked it up I went and I checked what they had in Walmart I didn't like it I grabbed a thing of yarn from uh, from Dollar Tree And uh, that'll probably do what I need it to do. At least that was my thought at the time. It's about the same thickness as the, the jute twine I was looking for. It's a project I want to do, or I told uh, Sassy that we would do. Making a, a, a basket out of a bucket. So... Uh, this was not the way to go. The heat's cooking me out on the one side. Ooh, come on, people. <sighs> there you go. All right, now you go around. Come on, go around. No. Figures. You probably want to go out here and make a left, don't you? Of course you do. 
Let's go, let's go, let's get moving. Oh, I'm going to go this way instead of going to the next one. Uh, so I don't need to go this way actually, but uh, I may stop at thrift store. I haven't been there in a while. See how, see how loud they are. I went to the one over by my daughter's Saturday. I picked up a little uh, stainless steel utensil holder and a well, actually two stainless steel canisters. I thought about doing a got today, but I mean it's three items. So uh, I could probably do a short on it, right? Uh, I've already I've put one to, to use I put one of my alcohol lamps down in it. I've been using those a lot here lately. There was one thing I want. I got at Walmart. Picked up some more rubbing alcohol fuel. Uh, so, and it's just just a recycled jar with a string stuck in it. So, no, it's nothing, nothing major. But two of them in the kitchen. It, it's not warm, warm, but it keeps us from getting super cold. And they've been they've been burning about nine hours or so, nine or ten hours. I really should time it. But uh, anyway. What else was I, th was I saying? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I picked up a a thing on the curb the other day, the other evening. And it may have enough light out. Go ahead and look at that. Maybe I'll do that right now. Go over to pull into the parking lot at the college. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll look at that. So, uh, anyhow, I keep meaning there's a really neat fountain right there at that landscape place. I keep meaning to come by and get some video of it. But I'm always always going somewhere or it has got something else in mind and they're a little difficult to get into so uh, I think we'll go through the old neighborhood just because Man, they got a mess going on there. Uh, anyhow. That wasn't very much of a cruise, was it? I guess I want to go ahead and cut this one short as well. And uh, bring it back on when I uh, 
eyes just keep falling to the curbs. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll cut back on again when I'm done doing what I'm doing to get done. Do I want to go to the college or go up to the park? Let's go see what's up at the park. Just because it's not that it's not that much further. And maybe, maybe crowded, may not be. Depends. It's a little chilly out. Of course, kids don't mind that. Especially when they start getting, you know, start playing around and running around and burning up energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not too bad. Playground is a little crowded. I think we got some space down here to play with. Yeah, it's probably private. We're private over by the college. We'll go look over there. Stop watching the litter. I wonder if they close that off back to the woods again. Can't tell. Yeah, it looks like they did. Oh well. Uh. Anyhow. Back in here. Go figure out a way to put my camera up and get some video. So I'll be back in a bit. See, I did my trash or treasure. I came over here to Wawa, filled my cup up with ice. And now we will try to make our way back to the home 20. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. They've got all these wooden posts in the ground. I guess people were doing like I thought they would do. Come out of this driveway right here. Wanting to go that way. And they would just drive right over the, the grass. Instead of just letting people do it, they spent money and put poles up. So... Uh, there's still an area to get over there if you're brave enough. Crazy enough. Whatever. But, anyhow. So I pulled in to do those, to do the not today, or no, to, to do the to curb find. And, uh, Ended up there were a couple of motorcycle guys over there with this, these homemade wheelie trainers or something. I mean, that's what they, that's what they were. I don't know what he I don't know what he was calling them though. So anyway, I videoed that for a little bit, and uh, he came over and said, "You're not calling the cops, are you?" I said, no, I am not calling the cops. Those things are bad to the bone. I'm gonna post you on YouTube and. 
Instagram, Facebook. Whoa. Who made that fall down? One of my fans. Yo! We're doing our bicycle. So, where was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, ended up talking with him for a couple of minutes. Found out that he built them in his garage and yada, yada, yada. But they were out there having fun. So, I just decided to move to another location. I think I said all this in, the, in that video. But it's been one of them days today. I know people well. I really don't. And... I'd gotten, you know, I got, I got, went to pick up my, my medications and I had to sit, well, I had to wait, um, for like a half hour before they reopened because they were out to lunch. So I walked around for a bit, about five minutes before they opened, I went up and sat down and this elderly gentleman, I mean, I'm old, he was old, old, he was my dad's age, um, he came in on one of those little, little scooter things that Walmart provides. And we said hello, blah, blah. I was checking messages on YouTube and Facebook. And I, I said, uh, I went to post a Merry Christmas to somebody. And I said it out loud. And he said, well, thank you. Merry Christmas to you too. So uh, what do you do in a situation like that? Right, um, I didn't. I didn't say you know I'm talking to talking to my phone or whatever. I just acknowledged him, and from there it went into full on, full on blather. I heard about the past two years with him and his wife, and COVID, and uh like I said, I don't people well. I don't people often, but I was brought up to respect your elders. It didn't hurt me to listen. <laughs> and then, like I said, got got over there to the college and ended up in a conversation with that young man. And then a very short conversation with a with a, a guy who I assume is his wife or girlfriend or partner or whatever when I was in the in at Wawa. It's a little inconsequential stuff, but it's still that time of year. You know, people are Feliz Navidad. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And you're trying to figure out the soda machine. I don't think they were native. <laughs> or at least not native to this country. So. Gave a little run through on that. But, uh, go home and figure out what I'm going to make for dinner. I had an idea what I was going to do. Do I want that? No, I don't need that. I probably do. That It's a milk crate, but uh, then i got to get rid of what's inside of it. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah, dinner. I had an idea what I was going to make, but then I was in there at, at Wawa, checking through there they got the kiosk you order your sandwiches or whatever and uh, they had a cheesesteak panini and I said oh <laughs> uh, I've got all the stuff to make that at home except for the Swiss cheese or no provolone cheese is that provolone 
Anyway, I don't have the cheese that they have. I've got like American cheese and I think pepper jack. So, uh, got this little girl in front of us right now on a, uh, what do they call those things, a hoverboard? She sees, all right, there we go. Get all the way over. There we go. <laughs> ah, she's a little cutie. Can't be more than four or five years old. There's a one wheel sitting out there in the middle of the middle of that driveway kid style one wheel that's a good way to lose that if I were a different type I would have been in the back of the car already just a quick grab and go on that happened the other day uh, I was out of the out of the pier and I was walking out the pier uh, there was a this cast net. The cast nets are kind of expensive. They run, you know, anywhere from forty to two hundred dollars or better. So it was just laying there in a big old pile. And I thought, huh. But as I was walking back up, there was a couple that had been fishing, and they were behind me. So I thought I'm going to walk to my truck, and if they don't pick that up. I'm gonna come over here and just buy. But they did pick it up, so. Would've been just my luck, I'd have picked it up and they'd have been hollering at me, hey, 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 no, that's ours. But, uh, anyhow. We are at the last turn. Uh, so, let me know what you think, folks. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Cool. Wherever you all leave comments on your internet access device of choice, I should probably check my mail. If you'd like to share me around your social media, that'd be fandoculous. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about it. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. So I'll see you all again. I hope you have a fan docking today. Slaunch, y'all. Uh, find that hole. <laughs>